Welcome to Market Taker Mentoring's Options Basics. This segment is on Delta and Theta. Options involve risk. Prior to buying or selling an option, a person must receive a copy of characteristics and risks of standardized options. Copies are available from your broker or by calling 888 Options, which is the Options Clearing Corp. Delta and Theta, they're part of the option Greeks. And the Greeks are a product of an option pricing model which means there are several elements that contribute to the value of an option. Each Greek letter represents a specific sensitivity to influences on the option's value. Here we're going to look at delta and theta. So delta, by definition, is the rate of change of an option's value relative to a change in the price of the underlying security. What does Delta tell us? A trader who may be bullish may buy a call instead of purchasing stock. And what if the stock rises by $1? How much should the trader expect to profit? Well, here's how Delta works. Delta is stated as a percent. An option that has a 50 Delta means its price will change by 50% of the change of the stock price. And this can be indicated by either 50 or 0.50. Now delta is different for calls and puts. Calls has a positive correlation with the underlying and have positive deltas. And puts, just the opposite, have a negative correlation with the underlying and have negative deltas. Here's an example for you. First, let's look at calls. So we have stock this $30 and it goes up to $31. So the stock has moved $1 for us. The calls value was $2 and had a delta of 0.40 or 40. If the stock moved up a dollar, we expect the call value to move up 40 cents because the delta was 40. And puts, the stock is $50 and goes up to $51. Remember, puts have a negative correlation. So if the put value was $4 when the stock was $50 and it has a delta of negative 60 or negative 0.60, we'd expect the put value to go down by 60 cents and be $3.40 since the stock moved up a dollar. The general rule for in the money, out of the money, and at the money options, a quick recap, for a call, in the money means that the strike price is lower than the current stock price. For a put, it'd be just the opposite, that the strike price is above the current stock price. Out of the money for a call is the strike price is above the current price. And for a put, it'd be below the current price of the stock. And at the money, at the money, excuse me, for a call and a put is basically at the stock price is right at the current strike price. So options that are in the money have deltas that are usually greater than 50. Options that are out of the money usually have deltas less than 50. And options that are generally at the money have deltas right around 50. Here, let's look at a delta chain. So the stock price was $30.24, as we see in the upper left-hand corner. We have March calls on the left and puts on the right. So if we look close to being at the money, 30s, which are just in the money since the strike price is below the current stock price. The delta should be probably just over 50, and here it is. It's about 56, 57, which means if the stock moved up a dollar and we own this call option, our option would expect to go up about 56, 57 cents currently. 
And for a put, since this one's just out of the money, or close to being at the money, but just out of the money, we expect the delta to be just below 50, and it is. It's about 44. So if we own this put and the stock moved down, we'd expect to gain about 44 cents on this put option currently. And for calls, the deeper in the money we go, the higher delta. And just the opposite. The farther out of the money we go, the lower the deltas. And just the opposite for puts. If we go higher price, which means more in the money for puts, the delta is going to get higher and vice versa. Out of the money with the puts is a lower price and the deltas get smaller. <clears throat> now, theta by definition, is the rate of change in an options price given a unit change in the time to expiration. Sounds complicated, but what does theta tell us? An options decline in value because of the passage of time, which is called time decay, and theta can help us measure that. So theta can help a trader determine how much option premium will be lost. How theta works is an option has a 0.05 theta. Its price will theoretically decrease by five cents currently as a time until expiration changes by a day, meaning every day theta is going to change. So currently theta was 0.05. We expect to lose about five cents off that option. Now long and short positions benefit and not benefit from that. A long position, theta hurts a long position because it's a negative theta position. If we own an option, we don't want the value decreasing, but theta will eat away at the option premium and like make that option less expensive. And a short position can help a short position because it's a positive theta position. If we are short an option, we want theta to eat away that option premium. We want to be able to buy back that option at a cheaper price than what we sold it at. So general rules on theta. Theta is not constant. It's changing every day. At the money options have a higher time value than out of the money or in the money, so they usually have greater thetas. The thetas increase for at the money options the closer to expiration. Let's look at theta here. So here we have calls and puts for February and March. And the stock price, upper left left hand corner, is about four hundred sixty dollars, four fifty nine sixty eight. So if we look at the money, the four sixties for the calls and puts, we see the theta is higher compared to in the money or out of the money. So currently the 460s, we'd expect to lose about 22 cents a day on this call option. And on the put option, same thing, we expect to lose about 22 cents a day on this put option. And as I mentioned, the farther out we go, the theta is going to get smaller. The closer it is to expiration, the theta will get higher. So looking at the 460s, we can see the 460s for March for calls, the theta is about 14. So meaning this option is going to lose about 14 cents of value per day currently. But if we look at the Februarys, which are closer to expiration, we're going to lose about 22 cents a day. Studying and understanding the option Greeks, such as delta and theta, can only help improve a trader's chances for success when trading options.